Tonight, we begin a new series called Retirement Ready. For millions of Americans, having enough money in savings is one of the biggest challenges, especially when you consider recent Wall Street losses that are shrinking 401k plans. CBS's Mark Strassman breaks down the numbers. $2, Daniel Fitzpatrick's original goal, retire at 60. He's now 64. Fitzpatrick's a senior planning executive making low six figures with money worry. The benchmarks move as I get older. What's your timeline for retirement? Work till I'm 70, and then to look for something part-time afterward. The national average for one person to live comfortably in retirement, roughly $967,000 in savings. Every retirement scenario is different, but that's $74,000 a year for the average American worker to live out his retirement. What's troubling, the typical retirement accounts balance. $144,000. The average Social Security benefits that people draw are about $20,000 every year. And if you are just relying on Social Security, it will be very difficult to make ends meet. And yet 40% of retirees say Social Security is their only source of income. Waiting to retire at 70 maximizes Social Security monthly benefits for the financial challenges of aging retirees. The biggest expense uh, that goes up is, the, is the, are these medical expenses. How many more dishes are you going to make? Georgians like Fitzpatrick need about 850000 to retire, about what he has in the bank. There's still a fingers crossed oh, yeah. quality to all of this. If I had to retire and had to live on what I have right now, I'd be much more worried. At least he's on track. In millions of older households, retirement shimmers like a shiny but unaffordable object. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.